From all over the planet, ancient legends of a bipedal, ape-like creature, far larger yet apparently incredibly intelligent, have persisted into the modern day. Legends which arose worldwide. Creatures now witnessed by literally millions of souls, yet regardless of the literally global distribution of reports of these said animals, they have remained elusive to modern science in all but a few very interesting and curious cases, one of which being a most curious of discoveries made in 1951 on none other than the slopes of Mount Everest. Some argue that such a large creature, no matter the remoteness of its claimed habitat, if in existence, would have been captured and or exposed to the wider public by now. This, regardless of their possible intelligence, ability to see in infrared, allowing them to dodge trail cams, and also that there are discoveries of new animals, including large mammals made almost weekly on our planet. It would seem, although modern technology has brought us together, giving the apparent impression that our planet be smaller than it is, in reality, there are still vast stretches of terrain yet to be fully explored and rarely, if ever, visited by man. Mysterious events have also occurred during the modern age, like that of the Dyatlov Pass incident or the Pangbosh Yeti, which still reside within a monastery in Nepal, which all evade explanation without the existence of this creature. As mentioned, in 1951, an incredible find was stumbled upon by none other than Eric Shipton an incredibly trustworthy source and man of great integrity. While on the Menlung Glacier, on the west side of Mount Everest, while looking for an alternative route to the summit, Shipton came across a seemingly unending set of tracks, recently left by a barefooted bipedal creature of massive proportions. So stunned was Shipman by this find, he carefully examined and photographed the best print, laying his ice axe beside it in an attempt to demonstrate its enormous size. According to National Geographic, quote, Shipton and Michael Ward were searching for an alternative Everest route when they came across the prints. Shipton was one of the most highly respected Everest explorers, so if he is bringing back a print, it is a real print. Nobody could ever question that." End quote. Thus, the question is, what could have made them? Could these be authentic, actual prints of a snow yeti or abominable snowman? A slightly different species of Sasquatch? One adapted to colder, more mountainous environments? Some, so convinced that Shipton did indeed encounter authentic prints, they have dedicated their entire lives to the pursuit of the truth surrounding the find. Believing Shipton not to have been an individual who would have any interest or inclination to fake such a discovery. Daniel Taylor, for example, author of Yeti, The Ecology of a Mystery, has been searching for signs of this particular abominable snowman within the high Himalayas since he was a child. With the World Book Encyclopedia even approaching Sir Edmund Hillary to pursue the find's origins, he was quoted as saying, we shouldn't just go yeti searching, but should also study how people could live at such high altitudes." End quote. The publication was so convinced of their authenticity, as was Hillary himself, that they built a house at 19,000 feet and experimented on how humans acclimatized. With such efforts going into the find, one must wonder why the possibility of its existence, if you also take into account the Pangbosh remains, and also the Dyatlov Pass incident, why the possibility of their reality is so passionately dismissed as impossible by so many. The Shipton prints are a mystery which is undoubtedly incredibly compelling.